or test. It's a good idea before we do the reversing exercise to show you a straight reverse on the test pad. We're using the herringbone marking as a guide, starting off straight with equal amounts of trailer showing in each mirror. Now we're putting a slight bow on the vehicle, as if the trailer is running away from the unit. By steering towards the mirror with the most trailer showing in it, the trailer straightens up with the unit. Keep an even balance of trailer in each mirror, continuing with a series of small movements. You can practice this with your own car and trailer. It's very easy to get the reversing exercise wrong if you don't prepare for it properly, no matter how experienced a driver you are. Keep as close as you can to the cone with the pole in it and to the left-hand cone of the two in front of you, but don't touch them as you drive up to the start. This gives you as much space as possible for reversing. Now that's a good start. The trick now is to steer fast but to move slowly. You need to know exactly how many turns of the steering wheel it is from full lock to straight. There should be at least a four foot gap between the rear unit wheel and the yellow line before you attempt to go parallel with the line. Now he's gone too close. There's too little room between the cab and the line and this is the first danger point. He's keeping it moving, but he's already got real trouble. He's so busy concentrating on not putting a wheel over the line that he doesn't realise the trailer's going round too far. The trailer's at such an angle, there's no way he's got the room to put full left lock on to get the unit back under his trailer without crossing the yellow line. This time, let's go through it stage by stage. Remember, steer fast, move slowly. Think of the straight position as being 12 o'clock. Gently move backwards, putting right hand lock full on immediately. Now, moving gently means less wear on the tyres and less strain on the steering. Reverse until the cab comes round to 10 or 11 o'clock, and then take the lock off until the wheels are straight. Now pushing the unit straight back until the rear offside wheel is no nearer than about four feet from the yellow line. Then full left hand lock until the front and rear wheels are parallel with the line. Straighten the wheels and you should be about 18 inches from the line at this stage. Reverse the unit parallel to the line until the two cones with the poles in them at the start of the bay are starting to go out of sight in your near side mirror. and then it's full left hand lock, making sure you don't go over the line. Keep the front wheel up to the line until the unit is almost straight with the trailer. Now take the lock off so you're straight with the trailer and push the outfit across the pad until the axles of the trailer have gone over the herringbone. Then a slight left hand lock to give a bow to the vehicle, straighten the lock and push the unit back, watching the trailer curve round. This is the second danger point. It takes experience to know how much bow to put on. Using right hand lock on and then off, gently move the trailer over to the front of the bay. It's like following the contours of a 20p piece. Once you're straight and in front of the bay, reverse straight back on the mirrors until the rearmost part of the trailer is over the yellow box.